Strength. It is one of the many, many things separating me from the elite athletes we watch every Saturday on the gridiron. But I wanted to learn how, if at all, I could improve in that area. So I went to an expert, longtime Hawkeye strength coach Chris Doyle, to get some helpful advice. Okay, Chris, you're the head strength and conditioning coach. Mm -hmm. Why? Why do you like that job? I love that job. It's the best job in football. We get to spend the most time with the athletes. So if you like coaching, and if you like being around kids, and you like seeing them improve, we have more exposure to our athletes than anybody else on campus. Any academic personnel, any position coach, we're with them year round. You're in the trenches, so to speak, with them daily. What's the most like basic advice you give to someone when they're trying to get swole? Well, when our freshmen come in here, they get three pieces of advice. All right, number one is show up on time. Number two is listen and learn. And, and number three is work hard. Because if they do those three things, they'll quickly gain the respect of their teammates and their coaches. Mm -hmm. So that's our advice to entering our program. What would you do with this body? I'd start over. Um, <laughs> I would, you know, so I, I, I would go back and, and uh, yeah, you yeah. know, fortunately it all starts with genetics and, and um, the gifts that our parents give so us. So you'd go back to yeah, my grandparents yeah, and say, know, so, it's your um, fault. Most of our guys that come in here are pretty well. They're fortunate enough to come from the right set of parents, so right. they wouldn't be playing Big Ten football. I think there's a certain amount of innate gifts that they come with. <laughs> so, but what if, like, what if, like, Kirk came to you and he was like, this kid, I'm telling you, he's going to be a great wide receiver someday, but he's literally this not good body. How would you attack it? I would it? say, who recruited this guy? <laughs> you just... Just not be interested. You know, I'd say, what, you know, where, what area is this kid from? Who recruited this guy? Who okayed this, this offer? Is it, this is a concern I have all the time. Is it possible to have too much muscle? Is it possible to have too much muscle? I, don't, I have never encountered that. What does it mean if, hypothetically, a guy like me is lifting weights and like, the arms like, wobble? when you're trying to lift something? Um, I, I couldn't explain that. I would call a trainer. I would talk to, I would, I would immediately contact uh, sports medicine personnel and find out what's wrong with you. Okay. Yeah, you, I, might have a, you might have something that we missed in our pre-screening, our pre-medical screening. Oh, like, like a disease of some yeah, sort. Yeah, you could have a, not could strong have a, a, a disorder. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. Why do I have to stretch? So, you, you know, first of all, you have to have something to stretch, so it wouldn't really apply to you. <laughs> um, but for, for our guys, um, so they remain injury free. You need to be mobile and you need to be stable. Um, so if we need to increase mobility, we do mobility work. What, sp what sport would I be most fit for based on the short based time on you've this? had to, yeah. Um, darts, bowling <laughs> um, would come to mind. He was very uplifting.